Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm filming one of my favorite videos to film. Um, my shop my stash and I think it's definitely time because the last one I did was called like fall slash winter theme. <laughs> so yeah, it's obviously spring now. Well, according to the calendar, although it's still zero degrees here today. But yeah, I'm feeling the spring makeup vibes. I've been seeing a lot of spring related videos and I just feel like this stuff is getting boring. <laughs> well, not boring, but I just want to switch things up. So yeah, it's been a long time. So if you're new to my Shop My Stash videos, I show you like the current state of what it is. And then I pick some products randomly. And I'm not sure if I'll also pick some myself because I already have my project pans going on and I'll show you where I'm keeping those products too. So yeah, let's just get into this. Let's start with this like container here. So um, this is always around still kicking the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer. I'm trying to use it up. It's like less than like this line is just where like it kind of dried but it's actually below that so i'm hoping this will be done really soon because i have other concealers to get through but i i honestly don't use a lot of this at once i use like one dot on each eye so we'll see but that's gonna stay in my Fenty Mini Bronzer. This is the shade Shady Biz. I'm going to put that away because I used it enough times and I used it... I think this was in like my previous Shop My Stash, even before the last one. <clears throat> and I have used it a lot and I know that I like it, so I'm obviously keeping this. I'm going to put it back in my collection. This Milk Holographic Stick in the shade Stardust. Yeah, I was really surprised how much I actually like this. It looks like it's not going to be for me. <laughs> like it's like a, I don't know, a mauve tone highlighter. But it doesn't go on like this color. Let's just give it a swatch. I mean, you can see it does have like a pinky base. But on the skin, it actually looks really nice and I really like this. And I like to like put this on first and apply like a, you know, a more champagne-y kind of skin tone highlighter on top. But I do like the base that this gives and I think it's flattering on my skin. And it doesn't seem to leave like a, like a dark cast either. So... I'm gonna keep this as well, but I'm gonna put it back because I already know how I feel about it. This product I think I'm keeping, it's the Tarte, I mean I'm keeping in my, shot my stash, it's the Tarte Spellbound Glow Highlighter. This is discontinued, I'm pretty sure. It's like one of these colorful, like there's different colors, but when you swirl it all together, it has like a pretty like neutral tone if you can see it there i think i only use this one time so i want to keep it in and see how i really feel about it honestly it feels really powdery when i swatch it but i remember liking it on the skin so that's going to stay in so i can gather my full thoughts on it oh i didn't see this this is, I meant to like use this up, but then I realized I have so many primers and this one just, I kind of forgot about because it was hiding in one of these little cups, but it's the Makeup Forever Professional HD High Definition Primer. I don't think this exists anymore. If it does, it's been like repackaged or maybe even reformulated, but I want to keep it around because I just want to use it. It's just a little sample size. So 
but I'm gonna put it back in my collection because um, I don't know what order my videos are going in. I filmed way too many <laughs> before thinking about the actual schedule. But if you saw or if you didn't see yet, um, keep stay tuned. <laughs> but I I rolled in two primers in my deck of panning project. So I don't need this one necessarily in my shot my stash. But I will pull another primer because I like to have like one product per category in my shop my stash so I can use along with my project pan items. Um, okay, this is also going to go back. This was in my deck of panning and I reached my goal on it. It's just a mini size benefit hula bronzer i really like this but i like my shady biz better on my skin tone um but yeah i'm gonna put that away <clears throat> uh this laura geller baked blush and brighten in the shade tropic hues i think i only used once or twice definitely once but i can't remember if i used it more than once but it's a really pretty like what kind of shade is this? I don't know. It's very shimmery. If you can see here. I don't know if you can even see that. Um, it's very like natural on the face, I find, even though it looks kind of like crazy in the pan. I think I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? I think I will keep this in because I, I don't know. I don't remember how I feel about it. Yeah, that's staying. I didn't end up, I didn't end up using these Lashaholic Luxury Lashes. I just don't have a situation in my life to use these. Apparently not even for video purpose. So, should I keep these in? I do want to try them. They look really pretty. Like they don't look too, you know, I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like they, not that they look natural, but they look, they look nice. I don't know. <laughs> so should I keep those in? Yes. Yeah. Cause generally it, one of my rules that I set for myself is that if I haven't used something, I need to keep it in until it's used. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder Foundation in the shade R220. I meant to use this. I was gonna use it today, but I really didn't feel like wearing makeup today. <laughs> I'm, I'm really tired. I got really like, uh, I got a bad, I had a bad sleep, how do you say? Yeah. So yeah, I'm just kind of lazy today, but I do want to try this and see if I like this shade on my skin because I do have another shade of this powder. Um, so that's staying. I think it might have stayed last time too. I don't know guys. And just, I, I don't know. I don't know why I don't reach for this because I know that I like this I, when I tried it in the past and it's so easy to use a powder foundation. I don't know. I don't know what my excuse is. So that's gonna stay. Here is my beloved Natasha Denona Love Glow Cheek Palette. We always have to look at the packaging first. <laughs> but it looks like this. I did use this twice. One time was for Valentine's Day dinner that I went to at my mom's. Yeah, I really like this palette, but I think it's, it can go back. I, I had my Valentine's Day fun with it, so it can be put away. Then we're into these palettes here. I just need to wipe the swatches off before I get them all over the place. So my Patrick Ta Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette, 
I only used one time. <laughs> but it's so pretty. I just, well, if you haven't seen, I am doing the Pando's Eyeshadows project and my deck of panning. So I didn't really get around to using this as much as I would have liked. And when I did use it, I did a really like basic look. I think I just used like this shade here, um, the cream shades and I think this shade. And I have to say the eyeshadows creased pretty, not badly, like it didn't look horrible, but I just wanted to point out that it creased on me. And normally I don't get a lot of creasing with eyeshadow, I always use the same eyeshadow primer, the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So I don't know if that if these like cream shades don't really work well with that primer, or if I had to use them in a different way. But yeah, I definitely want to get more use out of this. I just don't know if I want to keep it in. Why is this so difficult? I'll keep it in. Because if I want to do a neutral look, then I have this palette to use. Because none of the eyeshadow palettes in my uh, projects are neutral. So yeah, I think this will be a good like thing to have when I feel like doing something like that. So I'll keep this in. This Too Faced chocolate bar can finally go back. <laughs> so. If you didn't see, this was in my project pan last year because it's the oldest eyeshadow palette in my collection. And then I rolled it in my deck of panning project because I got the shade W for the random like shade name, not name, uh, letter. So I picked this white chocolate shade because I use it every time I do my makeup, a cream like a matte cream shade, but I met my goal on it. So I think I'm going to put it back and it's not very, um, encouraging to have this palette still kicking around because I feel like it doesn't look like I've made any progress on it for considering how many times I used it. So yeah, I'm going to put it back. This palette is staying at least until I meet my goal on it. This is in my deck of panning project, the Pure Midnight Masquerade face palette. It looks like this if you haven't seen those videos. I think I have four more uses to go on this one. So, but then I prob yeah. I mean, it'll probably stay in here until I do my deck of panning update, but yeah. So staying for now. This one I can put away. I only used it once, but I really liked the look. And I just feel like this is a very wintry theme palette. It doesn't even fit in the frame. It's so bulky, but it's the Storybook Cosmetics Little Briar Rose palette. And actually I didn't use like the fun shades, like the blues. I did, a like a pink look with this, but I really liked it. And this shade is really pretty. It looks like it's one of those like annoying matte shades with shimmer in it, but I actually liked the effect of that. And I didn't find like the glitters were flying around everywhere. So yeah, I actually really like the quality of this and I like this color story, just not really for spring. Although you could make it work for spring with like this like peachy shade and these shades down here, but I'm over it. <laughs> I like it, but I'm just over it for now. Uh, then I had my Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity. This was her holiday palette two years ago now. Yeah, I only used this once also. But I'm gonna put it away because I don't I don't wanna see holiday palettes anymore. I am into spring now. <laughs> so that'll go back to you. Um so that was it for the palettes. Now I had a prime another primer, the VDL 
Lumilayer Primer Fresh. I really like this. I don't feel like it's very hydrating, but I like the glowy factor of it. I did declutter the VDL Perfect Lasting Foundation that was in this Shop My Stash. So if you're wondering what happened to it, I gave it to my mom because I just, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it expired because it literally did expire. Like there's an expiry date and it was well past it, but it didn't smell weird or look weird. So I don't know if that's what happened or I just, I don't know. It didn't work with, no, I used it with this and it still didn't work. It was just very heavy and cakey on my face. So I asked my mom if she wanted a foundation and she said yes, so I gave it to her. Um, but I'm keeping the primer like in my collection, but not in this shot my stash because I like that. Um, I had a setting spray from Iconic London. I think this has been in two rounds now. So it's the one like you shake up because there's like actual, oh, you have to shake it really good actually because the little, the mica gets stuck at the bottom, but it gives like a really nice glowy effect. Um, I did notice this has a strong fragrance and I don't know why I didn't know that before, or maybe I just forgot. But I did use this quite a lot because I'm trying to use up another setting spray, um, which you've seen <laughs> for a long time. This is all I have left of my spray set go from Project Beauty. But I like this to like spray my face down after I've applied all my cream products and then I would use this one as a finishing spray. I liked how that looked. Um, but yeah, I've used this enough to know I like it. I just find the fragrance is a bit strong, but I'm gonna put it back in my collection. Um, then I had two eyeliners, a brown from Pure. I really like this. It's very creamy. It glides on smooth. I did find though, it wasn't very easy to smudge out. Like if I wanted to lay this down as a line and then wing it, like wing it out on the outer corner, it was difficult. So I think it dries down really fast, but I, I like it. So I'm gonna put it back though, cause I don't know, I need to rotate through my eyeliners. And this is just a black eyeliner from Tristique. It's called Santorini Black Sand. I think I only used this one time, but I mean, it's just a black eyeliner. It's like this kind that you twist up. I don't remember anything about it, but again, I wanna rotate through my eyeliners, so I'll put that back also. Um, this, I keep looking at this product, meaning to use it and I never do. It's the Too Faced Melted Chocolate Matte Eyeshadow in the shade Chocolate Chai. I feel like this is a very fall color. Maybe it's just because it's called Chai. <laughs> Makes me think of fall. Um, but it is like this very warm brown kind of shade. I'm, I keep meaning to use it, but I just don't. I think I'm gonna put it away only because of this shade. If this what, if I had this in another shade and I hadn't used it yet, I would keep it in because I don't know if I even like this product. I haven't, I don't think I've used it ever. If I did, it was one time and I forgot about it. So yeah, that's gonna go back because it's not very spring to me. Oh, this needs to stay because I haven't used it yet. The Grande Glow Plumping Liquid Highlighter. I've actually heard really good things about this. I got it in a boxy charm, and I was really excited because this was in one of Kathleen Light's favorites videos. Um, smells kind of good. I was expecting it. <laughs> to not. Um, yeah, I'm just very intrigued by this. It's 
called a plumping liquid highlighter so i feel like that means it's gonna look hydrating on the skin hopefully so i definitely want to get use out of this so i'm gonna keep this in Um, now the rest of this is all lip products and I think I've used every, no, I was really excited for a second. Um, but I did use this um, sample size or deluxe sample of the Clinique Black Honey. I really like this a lot. I only used this much, if you can see, like it used to be flush with the tip there but I know that I like it, so I'm gonna put it back in my collection. I don't find it's a spring shade either because it has like a slight berry tone to it. If you don't know about this product, it doesn't actually go on this color. Well, let me just show you. I always do that. I keep rambling on about things without swatching them when you can just see it for yourself. So it goes on like this. But I do find if you keep layering it, you can get it to be quite pigmented. And I just, I like this shade. And I like how this product feels. It feels like a tinted lip balm. But I just don't need this for springtime looks. This product I was pleasantly surprised by, the Clarins Velvet Lip Perfector. I just thought this shade was gonna be too um, nude on me, like concealer nude, but it's actually really pretty. And I love this formula. It's like the, it's like the Wet n Wild Cloud Paint, is that what it's called? Or like any product that has this like powdery finish. Um, it's really nice and it feels very comfortable on the lips. It doesn't wear very long so like if I was wearing this out I would bring this with me to reapply but I really like the undertone of this. It does look really light but it's not too light in that it's not flattering so keeping that but putting it, putting it back in my collection. Uh, my Rare Beauty uh, Thankful Dewy Lip Balm. I've said it before, these are not lip balms. They should have called these lipsticks because this is the most <laughs> pigmented lip balm I've ever seen. This shade actually comes off quite deep on me for some reason, even though on this swatch, like it looks like a nude, but it looks very deep brown on me and I think my packaging just broke because I can't get it to roll back down. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello? Okay, I just had to push it with my finger. That's weird. You know what, I think I'm gonna keep that in just because I wasn't really happy about how it looked the last time I wore it. So I'm gonna keep it in to try it some more and see how I really feel about it. Um, this Tarte H2O gloss I actually also really liked. I was surprised because this shade in a gloss usually doesn't look that great because it, it usually has like a strong white base and it looks weird on the lips. But this formula looks really good because it is very thick. Um, it is a little sticky but not in like a bad way. Like it's one of those glosses that stays on your lips and stays looking glossy. So I like it for that reason. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put this back. It's a very light nude. So I definitely probably wouldn't wear it alone too often. I'd put a lip liner, but yeah, I liked that. I also like this in this hideous packaging. Please explain to me what the purpose of this white sticker was. Maybe it was so that like you wouldn't sell it 
separately because it's a sample size of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. I got it in a Walmart beauty box years ago when they were doing those. I don't know if they still are because they were only available in the US. But it's a really nice shade. It looks like that. And I was like, what is a matte gloss? So it's pretty much a gloss. It just, like it's not matte. I don't really know why they call it that. Maybe to distinguish it from another formula that they have that is more glossy but yeah i like this too it smells good too then i had three lip liners a red from bobbi brown this huda beauty lip contour in the shade trophy wife which i like and i really like this mac pro longwear lip pencil in etc really like this um, I don't know. I think I used the Bobbi Brown one time because I don't often wear red lipstick when I'm, at least when I'm filming because if I'm filming I'm probably trying an eye look on and I find there's very few eyeshadow looks, unless they're neutral, that go with a red lip. So. Yeah, I didn't get much use out of that. But I wanted to use it with this half-baked, no, half-caked <laughs> um, Bordeaux liquid lipstick. But I didn't get around to it. And I don't think I won't, like I'm breaking my rule here, but I'm not gonna wear red lipstick for spring. It's just not gonna happen unless I, pulled one into a project I'm not gonna like volunteer a red lip <laughs> does that make sense so yeah I'm gonna put that away I have two other shades of this same product so maybe I'll pull in one of those because the other shades are more like rosy nudes but yeah I'm gonna put that back and I did pull a lip liner in my deck of panning project so I'm gonna put all three of these back too. Oh, then to go with that Trophy Wife lip contour, I had the Trophy Wife matte, liquid matte lipstick from Huda Beauty. I was wearing this in my last video. Wait, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm wearing this in a video and I talk about it in that video so you'll see what it <laughs> looks like. But I really like this shade. It's like a berry, but a bright berry. And I think it's pretty unique to my collection. And then this is the lip strobe that you're supposed to put on top. So those three products, the lip liner, this and this, they all came in that little lip tin that you may have seen in my other videos because they have it on display. I didn't use the lip gloss because I, well, for one, I'm working on another lip gloss in my deck of panning, and this is like a very shimmery, like duochrome <laughs> lip gloss. Let's actually just swatch it. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna wear that in the springtime. It looks really nice on camera, but in person it just looks, in person it just looks too like, holiday themed if you know what I mean like it's very shiny and glittery so I'm gonna put that away plus I have like 94 other lip glosses to use <laughs> I know my numbers now because I filmed my makeup inventory so I have a different perspective I guess on keeping things in oh uh, and then my last product here is the KVD, what were these called? Uh, Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Lolita. So the famous Lolita shade. I actually do like this shade on me, so I'm gonna keep this. I do find this is like a pretty drying formula though. So maybe if I ever get around to decluttering my liquid lipsticks, which I should because I don't really reach for them that often 
we'll see. But I have so many shades of these um, KVD liquid lipsticks to get to. But yeah, I know I like this shade, so I'll put that back. So that was it for the box. So what I'm gonna do now is choose my random products with my Tiny Decisions app that I always do. And then we'll see if anything's missing and I'll show you my everyday makeup drawer which has like my um, project pan related things in. And I'll be back. As all my lipsticks fall to the floor. Okay, so here is my makeup vanity thing um these are just like what you see here these are just the lip products and the primer that i just talked about i am too lazy to put them away right now <laughs> and the, it's actually getting late in the day so i don't want to wait too long um while i have good lighting so this is what you see like in the background of my videos and yeah, this is where I keep anything that fits here. <laughs> um, I have this spinny thing here, which has like lip products, eyeliners, brow things, setting sprays. Those are all my brushes, obviously. My lip liner cup. Then just a random assortment of things, bronzers. Okay, my camera just stopped recording because my memory card was full I think although it didn't say that so I hope it's working <laughs> uh where was I yeah this is just things and these um palettes here are my pan those eyeshadows palettes and then I have some ABH ones behind and then below I have more makeup <laughs> and in this drawer sorry these <laughs> This mess here, that's my crafting supplies, which I don't know what to do with because this is my office slash makeup room. I don't have room for crafts, but I've been crafting a lot also, <laughs> so just ignore that. But this drawer is full of face palettes, so let's just see what happens here. I'll keep you at this height. For visual interest I guess and we'll get my tiny decisions app out so yeah like I said I want to pull one thing from every category first one is palette or eyeshadow single if it would focus this one so I'm gonna spin the wheel with you La Belle of the Ball. Oh, that's going to be nice for spring, I think. So that's a palette from my ColourPop Animal Crossing collection. I think it's still in my new makeup drawer. No, it wasn't. It was in my mini palette drawer. So I keep all my Animal Crossing palettes in the packaging they came in, this cute little box. So La Belle of the Ball is the lilac one it looks like this cutest thing ever yes this is perfect for spring i think i'll use this um for easter as well because i really like those shades is this the one i used already though yeah i think this is the, the palette that i used when i did my first impressions on the ColourPop Animal Crossing collection and I really liked how it looked so yeah I'm excited about this really good palette to pull in for spring next category is bronzer oh good I've been meaning to use that because it's a cushion bronzer so it's like a liquid formula and I'm worried it's getting dry. It's the Wet n Wild Cushion Contour, but it's really a bronzer on me because the shade is not a contour shade. And it's over here. This one. 
This used to be a really popular product, but I haven't seen anyone talking about it lately. <laughs> Mine has a new sticker on it, so it's probably really old, but it looks like this. So, oh, <laughs> it's actually, you screw the lid off. It has a little poof thing here, and then the product is in this cushion type thing. So yeah, I'm excited to get use out of this because I remember really liking it. I just haven't reached for it in a while because I was working on my Hula bronzer. So yeah, this is good so far. Now we have blush. Rose ink. Ooh, okay. <laughs> That's a product. Um, that's brand new. I actually bought myself. Did I buy myself or with a gift card? I bought the Rose Ink gift set from Sephora. For some reason it was on sale, but like the actual blush is not on sale and everything in the set is full size. So I'll show that to you. Uh, it was this, um, the Modern Essentials gift set. And I've talked about this in a video. I think I bought this in the last VIB sale, plus it was on sale. And I think Sephora made a mistake <laughs> because it seems like they were selling it at like the US price. I don't know. And I think this is not available anymore, but it came in like this nice box. And because this was in the box and in my new makeup drawer still, I forgot to count all of these products in my inventory. So a good reminder. <laughs> to myself about that. So it has three products in the full size and this is the blush here. Um, but it also came with this lipstick thing and this is a brow gel. So I'm excited to use this and I love this packaging. Ooh, <laughs> see, I don't even know what I have. I'm like, wow. I, this is truly a shop my stash. Like I'm, I feel like I'm shopping at Sephora in my own house. But look how pretty this is for spring. This is the shade Azalea. It, these are actually lip and cheek colors. So we'll see if I, I generally don't use lip and cheek products ever on the lips. I just use them as blush, but we'll see. But that's really fun. This is getting, really good. <laughs> the next category is highlighter. Laura Geller. Do I only have one Laura Geller highlighter? I think it's the Gilded Honey that was in my shop my stash not too long ago. So it's this one that you've seen before. It's in a broken <laughs> packaging. I've had to glue the pen down two times now, so I don't know how stable it is, but it looks like this. I mean, I think I might re-roll because I'm trying to use products that I've never used in my collection or things that I haven't used in a long time. And I feel like I just, had this in, so I'm gonna roll again. Okay, that's a good one. The Iconic London Drops, it's a liquid highlighter. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite highlighters, so that's exciting. That is in a difficult place to reach though. <laughs> it's actually down here. Let's see if I can get to it. I don't know if you are seeing what I'm doing, but all my liquid highlighters are in this drawer. And these are the iconic, uh, the iconic London Illuminator, it's called. 
I really like this, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Next category is concealer. So I am trying to use up that Tarte one, but I always like to have another option. Okay, that's fine. The Makeup Forever Velvet whatever. <laughs> I'll show you. I'm actually using that organically because it's my spot concealer. So yeah, that's fine. Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin in the packaging that I hate because it's so messy, but I like this as a spot concealer. So yeah, this is actually good because I don't use this one under my eyes, but I use the chart under my eyes. So I can even use these together and finish the chart one off, hopefully. The next category is primer. So I have to keep in mind, I'm already working on two primers but they're minis and I should be able to finish at least one of those and then move on to something else. So let's try this. Touch and Soul Glassy Skin. I have so many Touch and Soul primers. I'm not sure which one that is. <laughs> so I'm gonna look in my primer drawer. It's this one, the Glassy, no, Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. I've actually used this before and I know that I like it, so I'm excited to use this again. That's what it looks like. Okay, this is good. This is good. And then for lips, I just <laughs> think how this wheel looks is really funny. My lip products are out of control, to be honest. Let's see. Bite Macaroon. Okay. I'm glad that it's a bite product because I need to get through those. But I'm not sure what the macaroon shade is. I think that's a lipstick. So it would be somewhere down here. <laughs> is it a mini? Okay, it was none of these. All of these are bite, but it's none of those, so... Okay, it must be a full size. Or is it one of these sticks? No, that's aubergine. That's glossy. It's not in there. Oh, it must be one of these. This is beetroot and sangria. Where, where's macaroon? Oh, there is one. One more here. Nope, that's porcini. Okay. Oh, is it a lip liner? Is that why? I don't think so. Because the lip liners are numbers. Oh, I know, I know, I know. It must be here, in the spinny thing. Nope. <laughs> oh, it's right here. Uh, it's um, one of the multi-sticks. Oh, that looks like a nice spring color. I'm just smelling it because it looks a little funky. Um, that's the shade. Ooh, I might actually use this as a blush also because I like this shade. Ooh. Yes, good, good, good. It does look kind of weird. It has that like film, but it doesn't smell weird and the texture feels fine. So I'm good with that. Now I have the Rare Beauty lip balm, this one my buxom gloss i need to choose like two more lip products i feel actually let's see if i can get like different categories of lip products like a gloss now or a lip oil i don't know this is just really fun for me <laughs> so oh 
Sailor Moon, but I have two Sailor Moons. Which lip? Oh, I, it must be the shade of Sailor Moon. Let me put you back up here because my Sailor Moon lip products are in here in these boxes. Yes. Oh, good. So Sailor Moon is an ultra glossy lip. This is from the Moonlight Lip Bundle. Ooh, it's a nice, like, peachy shade. This. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Okay, now I need a, I need a liquid lipstick. I feel like I'm gambling. <laughs> liquid lipstick. Come on. Tarte Rum Punch. Okay, that's not a liquid lipstick, but I do want to pull that in. Um, it is this one. This little mini of the Tarte... What were these called? I can't read that. These ones in the cool packaging. This is a nude like that. I think I really like this, if I remember correctly. That's the shade here. So that's a good one to have too. Okay, let's just do one more. And my battery's gonna die, so then I'll have to change my battery. Let's see. Oh, a liquid lipstick. Too Faced Melted Matte in Sell Out. Okay, I think my Too Faced liquid lipstick is behind here somewhere. So let's see. Oh my god. This one, yes, sell out. Oh, that's like deeper than I thought it would be. But yeah, let's see if I still like this formula. Cause I do need to declutter some liquid lipsticks. Then for setting spray. Okay. <laughs> That's a setting spray that's almost done that I mention in every video, so that's no fun. Let's try another one. Oh, okay. I thought I moved this to my skincare, honestly, but this could be good. Let me go get it and see if I if I want to use that as a setting spray. Yeah, so actually after reading the like claims of this. It says, after cleansing, use the ginger kombucha chill mist in place of a toner to plump, nourish, and prep the skin. So, to plump, nourish, and prep the skin. I mean, it could be a setting spray for prepping my face. No, no. <laughs> I'm just, I really like the sound of this product and I want to use it for skincare just because it has like good ingredients and it says hydrates, soothes and cools like I don't know but I do love how this product looks. I said before but I still haven't looked it up but I think Sweet Chef is a sister brand of Glow Recipe and it definitely has that vibe. Look how cute this is. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, I don't want to waste that for, like, prepping my skin before makeup. I want to use it as a toner, I think. So let me try this again. <laughs> Okay, really wants me to use that sweet chef. 
No, I'm not doing the iconic London again. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Complex Culture. I actually just got this in my boxy luxe. So it's in my new makeup drawer. Yeah, this one I'll, I would definitely use as a setting spray because it claims to be a blue light defense mist. So it's something you would put on like last, if you know what I mean. I don't know anything about this brand or anything. So let's see. It looks like this. Yeah, it's just called the Filter Out Daily Blue Light Defense Mist. Hold bottle six inches away from face, close eyes and mist evenly. Use any time you need to hit refresh and instantly, instantly Feel hydrated, revitalized, and protected. Vegan and cruelty-free. Okay, I'm excited about this. I hope I like it as a setting spray. Next category is eyeliner. Oh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I've been wanting to use that. Hopefully it's not dried out because <laughs> it's old. Um, it was in that spinny container. So this is actually, I have actually seen not so good reviews of this, but it's the Voluminous Lash Paradise Liquid Eyeliner. But the shade is like a rose gold. I don't even know if you'll see it on my skin tone. So, but I think this could be good because, well, you might know that I never wear like wing liner because I'm terrible at it and I don't often wear black eyeliner in general. So this could be nice for like a simple look. I'm trying to look for a shade name. Yeah, the shade is rose gold, so. <laughs> and yeah, it doesn't feel like it dried out although it did dry down on my skin already. So let's see how that goes. I'm kind of excited about this. I feel like for like it, this being rose gold, I have less of a chance of messing it up because <laughs> it's not gonna be like a harsh black on me. So we'll see. So now it's foundation. Okay, this app really wants me to use that powder foundation. It's already in my shop mix stash, so let's try again. Ooh. So I don't even know if I told you guys that I have this. It's the L'Oreal True Match Nude. So like that new like hyaluronic serum, tinted serum thing that went viral on TikTok, I guess. This is actually really good because I wanted to do like a um, drugstore video. I was, it was gonna be a new products at the drugstore, <laughs> but these are not new anymore. I feel like I waited too long to do that video, but it's this here. I'm actually really excited to use this. Um, yeah, it's a hyaluronic tinted serum. I have the shade 0.5-2 very light. I don't feel like this looks very light. Well, now that I see it on camera, it kind of does. So I hope this goes good on me. It's not very pigmented, so it should be okay. Let's, maybe I can do a swatch. So it's in a dropper tube, which I don't love because it's gonna get real messy. It's already all over here. I just want to swatch it. That's what it looks like. Ooh, it feels very nice and thin. Does that have a glow or is something else on my hand? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm excited to use that. Next category is, well, it's lashes, but I don't know if I want to roll again for lashes because I've already 
trying to force myself <laughs> to use those other ones. Yeah, let's skip the lash category for now. And let's move on to lip liner. I already have a lip liner in my deck of panning project, Dominique Crush. I feel like I just used that, so no. Like that was in the Shop My Stash before. Bite 064. Let's see what that looks like. This could be really good. Let's move it back up here. This could be really good for the bite lip whatever it's called, multi-stick. Because all my bite lip liners are pretty much in the pink tone family. So it's this shade here. It's very pink. I've never used this because it's extremely sharp. <laughs> Let's swatch it. Ooh, that's a nice shade for spring. That looks exactly like what was it that looked like that? It was the bite um, macaroon, I believe. Let me swatch it together. Oh no, I was wrong. So this is the bite macaroon. That's the lip liner. So, yeah, no. If it was the other way around, if this was the lip liner, that would work, but so I think that lip liner I'll actually use like all over the lips probably um, if I like the formula. I don't need another lip liner because the other one I'm working on is a nude so I can make it work for all the other lip colors pretty much. So we're at the last category which is brows. The Milk Clear Brow Gel. I'm already using it because I'm trying to use it up. Oh, MAC Spiked. So this is a brow pencil. It's in this thing. MAC Spiked. Is this it? No. Not it at all. Yes, so this is actually a really dark brown shade, but I do believe I've used this before and I liked it. It's one of these like twist up and it's very tiny. So this can be good. I hope it's not dried out. Oh, ooh. Okay, it's very dark, but I like that it's a cool tone because you guys know I hate when my brows look warm. So this could be good if I go in with a light hand. <laughs> so that was it for the random choosing. So I'm gonna try and like organize all of this and I'll show you my everyday makeup drawer where I keep the products I'm gonna be using for the next however long. And I'll show you what my Shop My Stash box is looking like at the end. So this is what my everyday makeup drawer is looking like. Not too different, <laughs> um, really, since the last time you saw it. Actually, I forgot about these two palettes. These were in my Shop My Stash and I have used both and I love both of these. So I'm going to put those away. Um, but what always stays is my NYX Glitter Glue. Who knows when I'll ever use it. My Urban Decay Primer Potion I use every time I do eyeshadow. My mascaras that are open, which is all these. This is a primer. Um, but yeah, keeping those in. And then this is the e.l.f. makeup remover pen. I just keep it here just in case. And my Tarte nude liner that I put in my waterline a lot. Then down here, this is my like everyday lip balm. This is the e.l.f. Um, sugar scrub thing. 
that I sometimes reach for if my lips are like really dry and like flaky. This is a bite lip primer, which I keep forgetting about. Yeah, I should use that. This is the lip liner that's in my deck of panning project, the NYX Nude Beige. So this color goes with a lot of the lipsticks that I pulled in because it's like a deeper brown shade. This is my infamous <laughs> Tatcha the Pearl um, tinted eye treatment thing that I use every day. Well, that's not true. I use it most days, but not if I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> then uh, this is the BB cream I'm trying to use up. That's all I have left, so this should be gone quite soon. This is the SPF I'm trying to use up, the Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense SPF 30. And then my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter is in my deck of panning. Then up here, I have my loose powder. I just realized I meant to add a powder category to my Shop My Stash, but I forgot. Oh well. But I have recently found a way to use this that I like, like with the particular brush. So yeah, we'll see if I want to try something else. Because I also have this Becca Under Eye Brightening Powder that I never use. Because I feel like it doesn't work well with the Tarte Aqua Sealer. So, um, I don't reach for it very often. Then my Patrick Ta Brow Wax. That was actually in my Shop My Stash, so that can go back because I've used it quite a lot. I really like this. I have the clear one. I can't open it with one hand, but look what happened to it. It like came out of the pan here. So I hope it doesn't fall out, but yeah, really like this. I can put that away so that I focus on my milk clear brow gel. Need to use that up. Um, Cause I just have other brow holding type products that I like a lot better than this. So yeah, I want to get this done. Then my Essence Make Me Brow is always in here because I'm also trying to get that done. This is another primer that I pulled from my deck of panning. It's a pore primer, so we'll see if I like it. And then this is the primer that I should be done really soon, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Just a sample, so. <laughs> I also have a setting spray in my deck of panning, the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. So, yeah. Um, I'm glad I have two setting sprays though, because I know this won't be one that I'll want to use all the time because it's very, very glowy. So, we'll see. Then I have my sponges, my Beauty Blender puff thing. This is the color switch that I use to clean off my brushes if I, you know, need to use them quickly. And then Sephora makeup tape that I rarely ever use because I don't do very many looks that would require it. But I just keep it there because I don't know where else to put it, to be honest. <laughs> So that's my everyday makeup drawer. So let's look at my Shop My Stash basket now. And we'll see if anything is missing or anything looks weird. I'll be back. So this is what my Shop My Stash basket is looking like now. It's pretty simple, but I am working on all those other products. So it kind of needs to be <laughs> if I'm going to get any use out of my items. So in this little container, um, I just added my ColourPop Animal Crossing La Belle of the Ball palette, my Rose Ink blush, my my Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm, right? Wet n Wild Cushion Contour, the Laura Geller blush that I want to use some more, and the Tarte Highlighter that I want to use some more. 
Then I kept these lashes in, like I said. And for palettes, I just have my Patrick Ta. Oops. Well, for, you know, full size palettes. Patrick Ta Major Dimension. And my Pure stays in, like I said. Here's my Tarte. My Tarte. <laughs> no. My L'Oreal True Match Nude. My setting spray. I'm just keeping it in the box for now because when I use new products and videos, I like to read the claims and see like if it does, if it is like what it says it is. Um, then in this little cup, I just have my Makeup Forever concealer, my MAC eyebrow pencil, and my L'Oreal Lash Paradise liquid liner. Then this cup is all the lip products that I pulled in. I don't need to go over those again because the only one I kept from last time was my Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Balm. Then in this container, I have my highlighters. I didn't realize like now I have two liquid highlighters, but that's okay. That's fine. Because I know I really like the Iconic London Illuminator. And I still want to test the Grande Grande Glow. And oh, I just wanted to show you because I know this looks like I only have three eyeshadow palettes, but these are the palettes in my Pando's Eyeshadows project. So the Violet Voss um, Pro Series eyeshadow palette essentials whatever this one so we have some color here the urban decay jean michel basquiat this like grungy one here the boxy charm loves pure this one i really like this palette for spring actually same with this Makeup Forever, although this formula is not my favorite. It's very like densely packed and like doesn't blend very well. You need to use your fingers. Th these are all um, like shimmer shades. So, but this is a spring palette, so it's good to have in <laughs> this project at this time. And then my Nikki Tutorials. Beauty Bay palette, which has like endless amount of colors and different looks that I can do. So I think that's going to be good. I think that's all I have to say. <laughs> so I hope you like this video. And if you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.